Hey, hello out there. Hey, it's Richard Blackstone with today's Create One Love Note. And, you know, I, what I do is I send these love notes out to my subscriber list uh, every day. And uh, what I'm doing is uh, doing these notes in video form now. Um, so these are old love notes, but they're still still good, still effective. <laughs> and so what I do is I read the love note, and then we talk about it, um, kind of give you an idea how it works in our daily lives. So today's love note says this. Wow, I ran across this mind-blowing quote when I was cleaning out my office yesterday. It is our duty as men and women to behave as though limits to our ability do not exist. We are co-creators of the universe. That's by Pierre Teilhard de Chardin. And uh, he was a French uh, philosopher, paleontologist, uh, really an unbelievable um, future uh, person. So the rest of the note goes on and says, See how easy it is to not only create our lives anew in any manner we choose, but to also recreate our world in any manner we choose. All we need to do is behave as though limits to our ability do not exist. So simple, so profound, and so true, because we are unlimited beings of light. Wow. <laughs> you know, that to me is empowering. You know, when you... Um, just take this to heart and understand that you know you're not this physical body that has limits that are that are totally physical. You, in actuality, the real authentic you, is an unlimited being of light. Now, this being of light is animating this beautiful, wonderful body that we have, and that's how we get to move around and do all the stuff we do. But the body isn't you. It's this being of light that resides and animates this body. That's the real you. And this being of light is totally unlimited, without limits. can um, be, do, and have whatever it desires. And you, in this manifest form as a body, can experience that if you so desire. <laughs> you know, see, well, what happened is that um, after you're born, uh, you basically get conditioned to believe that you do have limits. And once you start believing you have limits, then you live your life that way. However, one thing in life is true, is you can change anything at any time. <laughs> so if you want to change these uh, limiting beliefs and just, you know, get rid of them, you can do that. All you have to do is change your focus on what you want to be, do, and have, and then go for it. You know, create a vision, go for it. And pretty soon the limiting belief will just drop away. That's the nature of the, the game. That's the way it works. So there's uh, several ways to do it, but to me that's the most effective way. Create a grand vision of yourself, move towards that vision, and pretty soon those limiting beliefs that you thought were holding you back, you don't even think about them anymore because you have another belief that took its place. You have a belief that says, I can be, do, and have whatever I desire. And then go out and experience it. Start living it. And then uh, pretty soon it will be your reality. So that's a, that's a powerful one, and I love it. You know, I love uh, when I ran across that when I was cleaning my office out. You know, I'm like, oh, man, that's powerful. I'm going to use that for a love note. <laughs> so that's our love note today, and uh, what I hear is I'm here as a source for your uh, self-improvement and involvement. So to help with that, uh, you know, I've created a really cool product. It's called Blueprint for Manifesting System. And uh, you get a, a free book to get you going here. It's called The Three Foundation Pillars. This is powerful, powerful book. And it's free. Uh, you get an audio, too, along with it. Uh, just go to uh, getblueprintformanifesting.com. That's getblueprintformanifesting.com. Go to that website, get the free book, get the audio. That'll kind of get you going. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm here to help you to evolve and to learn the art of conscious creation. So until I see you next time, Go out and live in love. <laughs>